Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This was a difficult set from CAT 2018 slot 2 DILR. It says that uh, the base exchange rate of a currency X with respect to currency Y is the number of units of currency Y which is equivalent in value to one unit of currency X. So usually what happens in CAT sets is they give you an example. So they had not given any example over here. So let us try to understand that uh, there is base exchange rate of currency X with respect to Y. So X with respect to Y is the number of units of Y which is equivalent in one unit of currency X. So let us say the base exchange rate of currency X is 40. That means we need 40 Y. So X is equal to 40 Y. So we need 40 units of Y to purchase one unit of currency X. So that is called the base exchange rate. Currency exchange outlets buy currency at buying exchange rates and that are lower than the base exchange rates and sell at selling exchange rates that are higher than the base exchange rates. So they buy at a lower, this is the base. They will buy at a lower price and sell at a higher price. So obviously to make profit, right, these exchanges, it's a business. The purpose of a business is to make profit. So they will buy at a lower price than the base exchange rate. So let us just take an example. Let's say the base price is 40. So they might buy at let's say 38 and might sell at let's say some value 45. So, so that is uh, the buy price will be less based than the base price and sell price will be higher than the base price. A cur currency exchange outlet uses its local currency L to buy and sell three international currencies A, B, C but does not exchange one international currency directly with another. So if uh, a person has to uh, exchange a currency, so he has A, so he will buy L and suppose one needs to buy uh, B using it, so from L the person will buy B. So that is what is meant by this statement. The base exchange rates of A, B, C with respect to L are in the ratio 100 ratio 120 ratio 1. So these are the ratio of base exchange rates. So A, B, C, the ratio is 100x, 120x and x. The buying exchange rates of A, B, C with respect to L are 5% below the corresponding base exchange rate. So buy will be at 95% and their selling exchange rate are 10% above the corresponding base exchange rate. So selling price will be 110% of the base exchange rate. So that is given to us. Now we are given some facts about the outlet on a particular day that how many units uh, that uh, the outlet had and how many units it purchased and sold of a particular currency. So it says the amount of L used by the currency uh, outlet to buy C equals the amount of L it received by selling C. Okay, so we'll come to these points later. Let's look at the last two points that will help us understand that what needs to be done in this. So it says the outlet started the day with some amount of L, 2500 units of A, 4800 units of B and 48,000 units of C. Then it ended the day with same amount, some amount of L, not same, some. 3300 units of A, 4800 units of B and 51000 units of C. So what will happen is for any currency let us say A, it has some initial value. Then the currency exchange will buy some units and then sell some units. Okay, the things will go simultaneously but at the end initial buy sell that will be the final one. So initial plus buy will uh, add to the, uh, the count and sell will reduce the count that will give us the final value. So we will need to make a table like this currency start of the day buy uh, currency bought currency sold and end of the day. Okay. Now we will use these statements 1, 2, 3, 4 to fill in the information. Now it is a game of ratios in order to solve this question. Let us look at the first condition. It says the amount of L used by the outlet to buy C equals the amount of L received by selling it. Okay. Suppose the base price of C is C. So buying amount will be 0.95 C. 
and selling amount will be 1.1 c so it says that buying amount is equal to selling amount amount of l used to buy uh, is equal to amount of l received by selling so buying equal to selling so 0.95 c equals to 1.1 c so that means uh, like uh, like the number of units bought is b and the number of units sold is s right so uh, that means b upon s is equal to 22 by 90 1.1 by 95 you can convert it to 110 by 95 and say this is 22 ratio 19 okay so buy minus sell equals to end now we see that there is increase of 3000 so buy should be 22000 sell should be 19000 so that means this gives us 51000 so we can find the number of units of c using this statement now we will calculate for a and b so first statement has been used next statement says that the amount of l used to buy a and b are in the ratio 5 ratio 3 now buying a and b so buying a a what is the price 100x okay and b the price is 120x so suppose we are buying a units of uh, like a so 100a and into 0.95 and for b it is 120b into 0.95 so we will ignore this part because it is common in both because same thing we will use in point number 3 also so we shall ignore this point 95 because the buying rate is 5% less for both so we will ignore the part so we are given that the ratio of buying amount is 5 ratio 3 so it is 5 ratio 3 so what do we get we get a upon b buying amount is uh, this will be 5 into 120 by 3 into 100, so 600 by 300. That is 2 upon 1 or 2 ratio 1. So we need the number of units. We are this information about the amounts. This is units. So units is 2 ratio 1. Suppose 2x units of A are purchased and x units of B are purchased. Now we will use the same thing in point number 3 also. It says. outlet receive from sales is sales of a and b is 5 ratio 9 so a upon b the sale will be equal to 5 upon 9 into 120 by 100 so that is what we did in the previous case also so this is uh, 600 by 900 or 2 by 3 so 2 ratio 3 so 2 y and 3 y okay now next thing that we will do is we will solve these equations to find the values of x and y okay so next step in this solution is finding x and y now we know that 2500 plus 2x minus 2y is equal to 3300 or 2x minus 2y is equal to 800 or we can say x minus y is equal to 400 second equation gives us that 4800 plus x minus 3y is equal to 4800 or x minus 3y equals to 0 so solving these two equations we will get x is equal to 600 and y is equal to 200 so we can put the number of units purchased and so so x is 600 so 1200 units here 600 units here and this is 406 so let's check all the conditions 25 plus 12 37 minus 4 33 plus 600 minus 600 done so we have used these three uh, pieces of information to find the number of units purchased and sold now the next thing is point number 4 is also given to us which says the outlet received 88000 units of l by selling a so how many units of a are sold 400 so 400 a gives 88000 units of l so that means one unit of a is sold for 220 l right 
selling price is 110%, right? Selling price is 110%. So that means base price of A will be 200. Base price is 200 because we are selling 400 A for 88,000 L. So one A is sold for 220 L. We know sell is 10% above and buy is 5% below. So sell is 10% above. That means we are like one base rate is 200 and it will be sold at 220. Now the ratios are 100 X, 120 X and X. So this base price will be 240 and for C the base price will be two units of the currency. So this was how one had to solve this set. So quite complicated one because first of all, this was not defined. I mean, this was defined, but usually it happens in a DILR set is they give you an example also. So example was not given. So could have been tricky one. Then uh, buy and sell concept. Uh, if someone knows exchange, uh, the currency exchange outlets must have been able to figure out for the rest. It would have been uh, even more tricky. So now let us answer the questions. How many units of currency A did the outlet buy on that day? So we have 1200 units of currency A being purchased on that day. How many units of currency C did the outlet sell on that day? So we see that 19,000 units have been sold on that day. What was the base exchange rate of currency B with respect to currency L? on that day. So base exchange rate is 240. Had they asked the buying exchange rate and selling exchange rate, you would have calculated accordingly. What was the buying exchange rate for currency C? So currency C, the base rate is 0.2 and buying exchange rate is 0.95 times. So the buying exchange rate is 1.9 on that day. So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.